everyone welcome back to my channel my name is Lauren and I am a part-time reseller I sell my finds uh, online on platforms like eBay and Poshmark as a way to generate some part-time income for myself and my family this YouTube channel is a way for me to document my progress into making this my full-time income and today for you guys I have a haul so if you have not seen the thrift with me video that goes alongside with this um, stop what you're doing <laughs> pause this video and go watch the video linked below and that one I just kind of go a little bit in depth of like my process my thought process and you know when I'm selecting things like what I'm passing on that sort of stuff so if that interests you go ahead like I said pause the video and go back and watch that one first so I was able to find all of this within one day of thrifting at brick and mortar thrift stores. It was a very good day. I found some really great brands at really great prices and let's just jump right into it. So this piece is actually something I purchased for myself. I bought this separately. I ended up purchasing this um, with the intention of keeping it and um, I'm probably not going to resell it for much more than what I paid for it, which is fine. Um, I know I'll be able to get at least what I paid for it. So um, this is from the first store that I showed all that amazing Eileen Fisher stuff. There was even more stuff, you guys, but it, it was just, there's so much. I couldn't even show all of it. Uh, I wish I could buy all of it, even for myself too. But um, anyway, this is one of the pieces. So it's so Italian yarn beautiful um ultra fine merino wool little shell new with tags of course pretty much all the eileen fisher stuff was new with tags which is a little insane this retailed for 118 um i paid 25 for it like i said but um i'll at least be able to get my money back for that this next piece is a garnet hill piece i don't pick up everything by this brand but it is merino wool and it is a cute little like leopard print cardigan so I really couldn't say no to that um, this was part of the five for five uh, I know different thrift stores will have different deals sometimes there's like dollar days or there's you know you buy so many and then you get them all for a dollar or there's half off tags so just pay attention to whatever thrift stores are in your area and see if they have any deals going on and definitely try to take advantage of those when um, whenever possible so this was definitely worth picking up for a dollar um, and the cones are kind of all over the place but I don't know I'm thinking maybe around that like $25 mark for sure I was really excited to find this so this is my first time finding this brand it is if I can show it to you exclusively Mazook so um this probably retailed for about 200 dollars, which is a little insane but i actually think this is pretty cute um some people say that this brand doesn't do that well for them anymore but it was my first time finding it it was like i think eight dollars or something so it was worth um taking a chance on for myself um to sell it's just this cute little mock neck shell top really cute so I mentioned uh, in the previous video, so this is soft surroundings, but I pointed out that this is an extra large. I really tried to purchase the larger sizes of this brand because they tend to do a lot better. So this is just like a cute little um, typical style of something of soft surroundings. So that's why I picked it up. Um, it's like this crinkly gauze. It's really cute. It's a really pretty color. So um, I did pay $14 for this, which was a little much. However, um, I'm confident I can at least double my money on this piece. I showed this one in my thrift with me video. This is an alpaca silk, Eileen Fisher, beautiful, like tunic length. Uh, technically really, I mean, depending on how tall you are, um, I have short legs. So this could be like a dress on me, like a, you know, like right at the knee dress, but uh, just absolutely beautiful so this one was only $25 now I know only $25 but hear me out for a second so it is new with tags so that definitely increased the value uh, but um, in my experience certain Eileen Fisher pieces like certain fiber contents and styles will bring in that higher dollar amount and are worth you picking up 
and this was a size large. So this is alpaca, which is a very sought after material. People love it and are always searching for it. So if you find something with alpaca in it, you know, consider picking it up and also putting alpaca in your keywords, in your title and in your description. So typically what I do is I list something about half price when I am listing something that's new with tags on resale. So I have this listed for a hundred dollars. I think it will probably sell for around that. So $25 into a hundred dollars or even $25 into $80 is a really good return on investment for me. This one I did not show uh, in that video, but look at this. Okay. Again, Eileen Fisher, beautiful, absolutely beautiful piece. Uh, and this one, again, new with tags, this one's Marina wool, cashmere, and Angora. Yes. Size large. So this one was actually $30, I believe. So a little bit more, but again, I have it listed for that hunt for a hundred dollars. And I think it's going to sell for around that much. You'll have to excuse these, uh, like velvet hangers. I ran out of my normal, um, wood hangers because I have so much stuff to share with you guys. But anyway, uh, this was, uh, I was excited to find this. This is just seven Stella McCarthy, um, collaboration. That was the word I was looking for. <laughs> uh, it is new with tags and, uh, it's a four X, which is a great size. Look how beautiful this is. So this, this collab has always sold well for me, especially if it's new with tags. So let's see, it's $69. Um, I'd probably list it for $34 or $35 and just see where we go from there. But really stunning, beautiful piece. Excited to get that listed. This is my first time finding this brand. So Soul Angeles. I can't remember if this is an anthropology or revolve or some it's sold somewhere. <laughs> I remember that. And it was a five for five deal, which so was this. I forgot to mention this. This was one of the five for fives. So, and as was this. And it was new with tags as well. $78. It's called the Bulla Beach Tank. So I will list it for half of that and go from there. But really cute, kind of like a sunset beachy print. So, of course, Anthropology Saturday, Sunday. If you ever find this brand tag, that is what this brand is. It's Saturday, Sunday, not the whole week. It's a little confusing, but, uh, this is just a cute little basic dress. This was another five for five deal. I'm not sure what I'm going to list it for, but, uh, yeah, I will definitely buy anthropology if I can get it for a dollar or less. So when I saw this piece, I just absolutely fell in love with it. It is a Bowden piece. So if you've never seen this label before. Bowdoin is very hit or miss, so I would suggest picking the items up if they are a dollar or less. <clears throat> this is just Ann Taylor, extra large, which is a good size, but look at this. It's this like fringy houndstooth moto style asymmetrical zip jacket. So um, this was a five for five deal. So I'm actually going to take this to the consignment store first. I pretty much take all of my Ann Taylor to my local consignment store because they, they love that brand that sells very well for them. This is a new one for me. This is LK Bennett. And I just, I saw the brand tag and it looked expensive to me. So this is really beautiful. It is pilly. I still need to give it a good fabric shave, but very kind of modern minimalist look very chic. It's a hundred percent wool, uh, great fiber content. This was in the five for five. I have not had a chance to look this up, so I will leave a little note somewhere over here about if this is a good pickup or not, but I felt like risking it for a dollar. This is just good old lucky brand. What are these? These are, I think these are the Lolita. Yes, they're the Lolita skinny, which is a consistent seller for me. This is nothing exciting. I debated on if I was going to list this myself or take this to the consignment store. And I think I'm just going to list it myself because I think I'll be able to get, you know, maybe around $20 for these. So, uh, lucky brand, I still pick it up if it's a good price. And this was again, the five for five. So a dollar. Absolutely. Yeah. This was my first time finding cloth and stone out in the wild. This is just a typical tensile chambray top. Uh, I do believe that the market is flooded with this, 
a particular style. Um, however, it is a size large. Uh, I figured I might as well give it a shot and see for myself how well um, it's perceived. And yeah, I just really wanted to pick it up and try it out. This was interesting. So this is Knit and Link, which is new to me. So many new to me brands. I'm absolutely loving that. Uh, cashmere sweater, absolutely gorgeous. Um, it's got a lot of beautiful details to it. And I'm just noticing a teeny, oh no, that's not a flaw. That's just, <laughs> get it together, Lauren. That is the detail. So typically you will see details like these on higher end sweaters. So that's not a hole. <laughs> that's a detail, thankfully. Um, but it's like, you know, it's got little details around the neck as well. So, um, it does have pilling, but like I mentioned in the previous video, it's really not, uh, a big deal. If you have a sweater that is cashmere or very high quality, uh, fiber blend, as long as it's not like too far gone, like, somebody never shaved it ever or properly took care of it, uh, you can really bring this back to its, you know, restore it back to its normal original state. It's just really like around here, which is typical of these sweaters. I love trying out new brands and yeah, um, beautiful color, great staple for the season. I've got another anthro piece to share with you. This is Sleeping on Snow. So this brand in particular has kind of like a cult following to it. And sweaters that are sold at Anthropology just tend to do better anyway. And Sleeping on Snow is, you know, definitely one to uh, keep your eyes peeled for. So <clears throat> it's this long kind of, you know, it's like an open knit uh, tunic sweater. Really beautiful. Um, it does have a little bit of pillies on this, you know, the inside here, but I should be able to clean that right up. Um, yeah, I was very excited to find this because like I said, this is a brand that does pretty consistently well within the anthropology realm. This is my second time finding this brand. This is Billy Reed. Billy Reed is very expensive, you guys, <laughs> very expensive. This is just like a little kind of, again, like a chambray type dress. They do sell men's clothes, I think primarily, but they do sell women's as well. And um, I have no idea what this is going to bring, but hopefully a really good return. Uh, like I said, the retail is crazy and this does have a strong brand following. I've got some more soft surroundings. This one is a large. Uh, this was a five for five deal really cute long tunic the tunics would do pretty well for me and in this beautiful sunshine yellow color so i thought i would grab that i've got more lucky brand extra large awesome size really love selling lucky brand in sizes large and up especially the plus size this is just a really cute kind of open knit short sleeve sweater really great layering piece i've got a bolo brand for you here this is Comfy USA. This doesn't look like much, but every time I found this brand, it has sold for a good return and pretty fast. So this is kind of like a comfort based, almost lag and look type of brand if I had to kind of categorize it. And they just make basic pieces like this, but they can sell, you know, this might sell for like around $30. And it's just this really cute kind of shark bite hem top really like small pinstripe almost and yeah i paid a dollar for this so really excited to find that i've got another ann taylor piece to share with you i've already shown this in the previous video but this is ann taylor it's a size two it is a tweed jacket asymmetrical zip awesome going straight to the consignment store i paid a dollar for it and we'll see how it does there This was probably one of my most exciting finds of the day. Um, however, it does have damage, and I didn't realize it until I got home because, as we all know, thrift store lighting is really not that great. It's terrible. And I, sometimes I'm like, why, how did I even miss this? But anyway, it was in the five for five, so I was willing to buy it kind of regardless. Um, this is 
this is a bolo you guys I've never heard of this brand before so I saw the tag and I'm not even gonna try to pronounce that <laughs> it's a French uh, brand company um, the tag alone just kind of gave it away to me that this was something special so whenever brand tags are tacked on like that or they're you know kind of like a you know a monochrome text like this is like a black on black text it's just gorgeous and I just want you to take a you'll be able to see the flaw right away but um, take a second to look at this piece so it's gorgeous this is all silk this is wool it's got wool on the cuffs it's it's stunning it is an absolute stunning piece uh, when I purchased it I noticed there was a flaw here it's right here like a little um, kind of almost like a grease stain and there is a huge one right on the front that I missed so <clears throat> I'm going to try to get this out I think that I can if not uh, I will be keeping this for myself and doing the front tuck look <laughs> to kind of minimize that because this is <clears throat> Uh, you guys, this piece probably retailed for um, hundreds of dollars. I mean, hundreds, like probably like 600 plus. I don't know. I'm just throwing out a number there. But in the little research I did, this brand, oh my gosh, like just the quality, the look of it, just so awesome. So uh, I think I'd still be able to sell it even in the condition that it's in. So uh I'm not too worried about it, but I am bummed that I totally missed that. Like, how did I miss that? Like, what? I'm not gonna lie, I was hoping that this piece would fit me. Unfortunately, it's too tight in the arms, so. It's an Eileen Fisher piece. Again, it's a size medium, which I really try to pick up large and above, because those do the best for me. However, this is like a classic kind of, you know, jacket that she makes. So it's a linen cotton blend, great fiber content, and I definitely think that somebody will want this piece. I don't know how your thrift stores are set up, but at mine, whenever they're bringing out new product, they will just bring out a whole rack and kind of just like push it off to the side or put it at the end cap of an aisle. And that is where I have found some of my best items because they're brand new, they haven't been viewed by others, and this is where I found this piece. This is an aqua cashmere sweater. So I think aqua cashmere is sold at like, uh, you know, higher end department stores. It's a great brand. I've sold it before. Um, so it's just kind of like a rolled neckline. I don't really know what you call that. Uh, cashmere. I've got another bolo for you guys. This brand, Peruvian Connection. Even something as basic as this tunic will sell for really good money. I love finding this brand, you guys. It This is another cult following brand. Uh, whenever I list an item from this brand, uh, the views just explode on my eBay store. I get lots of likes on Poshmark, so it is a bolo for sure. I paid $10 for this and i um, very happy to do that because this brand has a 100% selfie rate for me. This one's exciting. Eileen Fisher again but it is Eileen Fisher Woman, 1X. The woman pieces, anything in the plus size is just that, those are the pieces that you wanna be looking for. And this is a jacket, so like a really pretty swing coat. Oh, sorry, I've got my piece, I've got my hair stuck to it. But it's beautiful, it's textured. Um, let me check the fiber content. It is 100% wool and the lining is 100% silk like luxury, absolutely stunning and beautiful. Wish this was my size, but you know, I've got more anthropology brands to share with you. This is a Kimmy Kin. Um, I am not totally sure, but I think that this brand is no longer sold there, but uh, this is a linen piece. I sold a top like this, uh, pretty similar to this recently and like for like that 20, $25 mark. Uh, this was a five for five, but I did not find five pieces at this particular store. So it was just half off. So I paid two bucks for it. So, um, we'll always pay two bucks for, you know, one to $2 for anthropology. I'm willing to take the gamble. Another exclusively Mizook piece. This one has some shoulder padding to it. Um, but look at this. 
this is really cool. I really like the design of it. Um, again, I'm really, this is such a new to me brand, so I really don't know what I'm going to list this for or what I can get for this, but this retailed for probably two, over $200, probably closer to $300, which is insane, but yeah. And it's got this little split side detail, real cute. If you're going to pick up cut from the cloth, try to find this brand tag. This is the newer tag and the newer styles are going to have the uh, style and name on the inside. So this is the Reese ankle, what does this say? I can't read this backwards to my camera. The Reese ankle straight leg. So this was $3.99, which I was more than happy to pay for these jeans. I just thought the style was really cute. So it's got this kind of like two-tone look to it. It's got a raw hem, which is still popping right now. Um, I believe this is like a mid-rise, which I am picking up more mid-rise jeans. I think that some people are just tired of the high-rise trend. I don't I don't think that it's going away anytime soon, but uh, keep in mind picking up mid-size or mid-size, mid-rise, but also mid-size <laughs> jeans uh, because there are women that are looking for those. I said this before and I'll say it again, major, major bolo, you guys. This brand, every time I found it, has sold immediately and it has sold for a really great return. So I am super excited to get these listed. I'm not going to really waste any time getting these listed, which by the way, uh, if you're interested in anything here, by the time this video goes live, everything should be listed. If you can't find it, that means that it probably has sold. But if you have any questions, just leave them down below for me and I'll be happy to help you with that. So this is Ibex. It's got this like... I don't know if that's a, a goat or a, I don't know what that is, but it's got like an animal logo. Okay. So I've sold this exact, well, not exact because it was a different pattern, a uh, full zip kind of, um, I don't know what you want to call this cardigan jacket, uh, whatever. It's like a layering piece. Um, I've sold one before with holes in it for like, uh, I think it was like $45. So uh, in the video, I estimated around 50, but honestly, these are in, there's two of them here. Uh, I'm thinking I'm going to list them for higher. I think I'm going to get more. I think maybe like 60 plus. So, um, just throwing it out there, but I was stoked when I found this, I was so excited. And then there was another one also in an extra large right next to it. So amazing. So excited to find these, uh, this brand, um, I don't know why it went out of business, but sometimes when a brand goes out of business, that's not a good sign. <laughs> and you probably should be careful about picking up brands that go out of business. But sometimes when they do, that just really raises the market value of the piece because people can't just walk into a store and buy it anymore. So um, definitely excited to find these and I'll get those listed immediately. I was originally going to pass on this piece because it is a medium, but this is Eileen Fisher. And when I looked at the uh, fiber content, I realized it was cashmere. So I decided to grab it because we're in the prime cashmere season. You guys, if you're not picking up cashmere, start picking it up. <laughs> and a brand doesn't necessarily matter with cashmere. Um, of course, you want to be looking for higher quality uh, cashmere sweaters <clears throat> when at all and if at all possible. However, um, you know, this is of course high quality cashmere. Um, it was less than $5. So I was willing to take the gamble on it. And somebody wants this. Somebody wants a really beautiful blue Eileen cashmere, Eileen cashmere, Eileen Fisher cashmere sweater. So this one totally threw me off. Okay. So I don't know if this is a newer label or what the deal is with these, but these are dojos. So it says Blair on it. The Blair, B, not Blair, the Air. I don't know what that says. But when I was flipping through the racks, this is what I saw. And I was confused because I'd never seen that before. But the telltale sign of a dojo is these giant seven um, logo embroidery -ness <laughs> on the back. And um, so when I flipped them, I realized immediately what they were. And then I saw the logo here. So again, like I said, I don't know if these are newer. Um, they look like they've honestly been worn maybe once or twice. Um, they're in great shape. So uh, I'm still picking up dojos. I know some people 
uh, aren't anymore. I know that they're not selling for like $80 anymore, but um, I definitely think that these will go for a good amount because I've sold ones that have been completely trashed on the bottom for decent money. So yeah, dojos. This is really the only jean I will pick up from, from Seven for All Mankind. I love finding bread and butter brands at the thrift. Brands that I know that, you know, I can fall back on. I know that they're always going to sell. They may not be the most exciting, um, <laughs> but you know what I mean? I, I need consistency. If I want this to be my full-time job, I have to find these brands that I know are going to consistently sell and that have a good following. And that would be American Eagle, specifically their Dunham. So this is my first time finding these highest rise flare, but this is a trendy style. Any of the trendy styles of these jeans will do very well. Um, so was excited to find this. I think that this will probably sell for around that $20, $25 mark, which is way okay with me. Um, yeah, American Eagle. If you're not picking it up, consider doing it. Um, stick to current and on demand styles. I'm going to show you another one in just a second. The high rise or the super high rise jegging are my absolute favorite styles to pick up. This is the, I believe it was the super high rise. Yes, this is the super high rise. So this one in particular is very desirable because of this. <laughs> I don't even know what to say. So when it is distressed like this, it is shredded, distressed, destroyed. Those are things that people are looking for. So the more they look like this, the better they're going to sell. I've got one more piece to share with you guys. And that is... Um, another good brand that I like to find at the thrift, and that is Everlane. Everlane does very well for me. Uh, these are a 31 regular. I have to look up the style of these, um, and they're like a cutoff frayed hem. Everlane doesn't make a lot of different styles, so it's pretty easy to kind of narrow down what particular one this is. Um, I was considering keeping it for myself or wearing it a couple times, but um, I'm just going to sell these. Uh, yeah, just a good old basic piece uh, that is a good seller, good brand to find. Um, it does really well in the secondhand market. Thank you so much for joining me today. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel, and leave a comment down below. I think I found some good stuff. I don't know about you guys. But, uh, and I'm not afraid to pay up for good quality items. So I'm always an advocate of shopping at the bins and making your costs as low as you possibly can get them. Um, and the bins is just a really good sustainable business practice as well. You are saving items that are going to literally be shoved off to the landfill. It's like their last chance <laughs> at getting picked up. So I really much prefer to go there. Uh, however, um, with closures and schedules and things like that, I'm not always able to go to the outlet. And so I need to be able to go to thrift stores in my area and find items um, that I can get directly off the rack that um, I can you know, use as a way to replenish my inventory. And lately the finds have been good. Um, you know, I'm a year, almost a calendar, full calendar year into my business. I've been doing this for almost a year and a half total. And um, like I said, I'm not afraid to pay up. It's definitely always best to focus on quality over quantity. Um, I know that, you know, at least for me, um, I have really been trying hard to build up my inventory. And some of the items that I have are lower dollar items and I'm okay with that. But I'm at the point too where I really want to be getting laser focused on bringing in higher quality, um, higher ticket, higher price tag items into my store because um, at the end of the day, you know, I'd rather sell one item for $50 than five items for $10. So um, when I can find these higher quality items that are going to sell for more, you know, I'm okay with paying a little bit more for them. It's okay. Um, so just do your research. Hopefully this video was helpful. And hopefully you learned about some new brands today. Um, and yeah, I'll catch you guys next time. Bye.